I'm in pain and my lung is on fire. Hello, Bob. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Bob. So, yeah, uh, I looked at it. It's not going to be Twitch mod for this game. Not for us. Not for us. On the other hand, I looked at Binding of Isaac and made myself upset again about how they bundle up the uh, the latest mod that was well received with the one or not mod DLC that was well received, you know, Repentance. They bundle it together with Afterbirth Plus, which is garbage. And <laughs> some of the positive reviews are, hey, it's a positive review. The comment is, it's needed to pay Repentance or play Repentance. Cool, so I take that as a negative review as well. It's garbage and I don't want to buy it. So, yeah, I I got upset about that. Apparently there's true co-op as well as a mod, so you don't your co-op partners are not those garbage ass babies that take half your health. But they are their own characters and it's chaotic as fuck. That looked cool. So who knows, maybe I'll get some I played a round of Isaac. Had fun. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll I'll play Isaac again. Maybe. One day. Afterbirth isn't even bad. Afterbirth is not bla bad. Afterbirth Plus is the one that's garbage. People hate the... Uh, apparently there is a, a telefrag with delirium that it can just insta-kill you if it just spawns on you. I don't know. I, I, I don't I don't really care. You know, also apparently they added, it's unrelated, but they are adding Spelunky cards into the Four Souls card game. Like, why? I don't know. Starting to like them less and less, the developer, you know. But thankfully there are other games, such as Send of Fate 2, which is what we are going to continue today, because it was fun yesterday. I had fun. I had fun getting fucked up by blizzards. You know, that was fun. <laughs> Alright. So here we go again. That candle is cool. I like that. It's nice green. I like that. Oh, I have to click. I have clawed my way back here. beyond the 13 gates to this mortal realm. Your face is a mortal realm. We're going to do the Emperor. It is not one game now, but a score. Each with its own nuance and delicate approach. Also, if you like Afterbirth Plus, it's fine. Like, not saying you should feel bad for liking it because I think it's bad. No, if you like it, it's good. But I, I'm not. I'm, I refuse to buy it in a bundle. You know, fuck that. Main update of Afterbirth Plus is mode support. Yeah, and that's and they built repentance around it I guess or something but I feel like it's just a marketing shit so you buy both of them because nobody would want the fucking thing like fuck that ah. I don't know I am rejecting it <clears throat> what I'm not rejecting is this campaign thieves have stolen a relic from the Emperor's palace the Empire Empire are looking. The Empire is looking to hire adventurers to help recover this and other items. Explorer, the road ahead may be long, long, are you long, man. Complete huh? these challenges, huh? and we will be ready to face the usurper. Well, who's the usurper? It's me. Ensure you have enough food to avoid starvation. So we have to go heavy into food. Bandit country, so a lot of killing. The, the wilds are a lawless land. Perfect hiding place for thieves on the run. Come prepared. I mean, thieves are not that big of a deal, right? Hopefully. Pathfinder, use map reveal to help navigate treacherous wilds. Uh, the, uh... That place, the Undertown, or Underworld, or something. Hey, that's a movie. That was good for revealing the map. Anyways, so our companion is still going to be, uh... Malaclips the trickster. 
Now we can have 10 encounters. Alright, I'm definitely putting in the... Uh, but these two platinum cards, because we can have one, so might as well. I'm putting in the temple prayers. That's a good one. I could also put in the old maiden for some help. <clears throat> Winter Solstice was the one that needs two uh, two blessings and then you get the shard. I'm not putting that in, because I'm not going to have a lot of blessings probably, unless this spawns a lot. Uh, I want to go with the armor sling again. Cartographer is not bad. No music, no music exchange is easy. Even if I don't get the uh, token, it's fine. We should go with his quest. I want the uh, <clears throat> the friendly keeper, maybe. Man eating asshole. Tart pies, we can get food here, maybe. Oh no, this is the choose a fruit, right? Or something. I don't know. Don't remember. Let's go with stuff that has not no not shards but proper tokens. Let's get the goblin tracker and the building burning buildings and the uh let's see what the runner's remarkable fishing is. Cause that might be a companion, I don't know, but it has a name and a like a, its own character portrait. You know, I don't know. Maybe we'll see. So that's that. Then our items. The shield is good. Oh wait, I should get the Valiant Aegis because this is the eat less. That's gonna be good. We don't know what the humble hammer does. We don't know what these rings do. I'm gonna go a ring heavy, because you can have unlimited rings. And let's go Berserker's thingy. Let's get go Winter's Bane, because I need the uh, shard. So, uh, Pandas probably fixes most things that Afterus Plus did wrong. I mean, as I said, I did a round of Isaac. Repentance. <coughs> <laughs> and it was fun. I uh, started from scratch. I encountered a couple new items. I don't know. A couple new enemies. A couple revert thrones. Some facelifted uh, graphics. And. The, the problem is that you can't really gauge it from after one run, you know, and that's that's why I, I hate how it's like you have two hours before you are re run out of the refund timer on Steam, and it's like in two hours I won't even encounter most of the fucking content from the uh, the, the DSEs. Like I won't be able to make a choice whether I want to keep it or refund it. So you know, it's like, how the fuck are you going to test it? Only on, the only option is set sales ahoy, and you know. It's kind of stupid. And our starting thing is going to be the food. Because I'm smart. Let's go. But were they dependent on items after the left? Yeah, that's the problem. I don't know. Rocks. I do not know truly if they will train I could look the them up that on the uh, wiki, I guess. But one of them was the sulfur, the temporary demon form. Of course, we know how this part of the story ends. The Emperor is merely the face on I the didn't throne. Put that in. Behind him, the usurper pulls the strings. Oh, that's different. The one the who sits arts. upon the throne of life and death has a great influence upon the world. Their very soul permeates the lands and fills the hearts of the people. Uh -huh. I still don't know what fame does. So far, kind of was fun. Especially after I got, a, I got an um, uh, a, like a passive item that makes your active item stronger, and then the beam was like super fat and killing everything, and I got the rainbow cake from you know after birth or just rebirth, and then it was just disgustingly good, and I just raped my way through everything. But sulfur also pissed me off because it's like there's brimstone in the game. Brimstone is sulfur, right? It's just the old name. But whatever, dude. <laughs> it was fun. 
700 plus items in total now. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah. There's a lot of shit. And you know, the more you play, the harder it is to get a good synergy going. Huh. The shrill voice of the town crier rings out across the market square. The Emperor himself seeks a I've waited to kill 100 the... years for my revenge. Members. It appears I must wait 100 more. Urgent expedition, vital to the safety of the Empire. Oh, this is the beginning of the Empire. Spot a crowd of travelers weighed down with weapons and tools, lingering nearby. The Empire is offering reward just to set off on the expedition, even more if you make it back. That's how desperate they are for help. This reminds me of the uh, the DLC for New Vegas, uh, the uh, Happy Trails, I think. Then everybody gets murdered by Indians or some shit, <laughs> or some shit, tribals. Gold counter to the map. What the fuck? That's not gold. Like gray. The Empire does not oh, ask gold for counter. much, uh, but in the end, they take everything. I see, because that's how, you know, we get paid for just setting out on the journey. Oh, it's so cute. Imagine talking about End of Fate 2 in a End of Fate 2 stream. Fuck End of Fate 2. I hate that game, dude. I'm never gonna play that. Can't <laughs> my favorite mod. Get ported to Repentance. What's your favorite mod? Talk. Talk about it. And arriving at the gates of the royal palace, an armored escort, lead, the escort leads you directly to the Emperor's chambers. I'm gonna fuck the Emperor. The Emperor remains still and silent as his chief counsel lays out the expedition. Your relics from the last age still endure in this world. We have one in this very room until last night. We had. She gestures to an empty pedestal. Well, I guess she, it's a she. Not only must you reclaim the stolen symbol of our power, we ask that you gather it. Three sibling relics, because fuck you. Oh god, so I need four relics and I need to make it back safely. Ah, uh, yeah. Explain that you're ready to go. Who stole the artifacts? The evidence suggests a thief. They seized on a weak spot in our guard's schedule. There are many treasures in the palace. It is curious that this, this is all they stole. Mmm, that's not a simple thief. Examine the pedestal. An ornate pillow sits atop a stone pillar in the dust. You make out the shape of a jagged blade. It was a ceremonial sword. It's set for decades under our protection, just gathering dust, so I'm glad someone actually uses it. We're not protecting it, you understand? We're protecting those who would try to possess it. Blade is cursed. Its venom stugs both wielder and foe in equal measure. It's cool. Unless you have curse immu or toxic immunity ring on you. Mm -hmm. Like this mod called Revelations? What do you do? I don't know the mods. Few relics from the last stage still endure in this world. We have. Let's, uh, let's repeat. We are ready to go. Hold, adventurer. It took skilled and dangerous thieves to sail the uh, the bear. We need to ensure you'll be safe up there. It's your training officer on the way out. Fuck you. A keen eye will notice that themes repeat themselves. Events too. Why did I lose food? The wheel ever turns. I'm still in the castle. Fuck. I'm already starving. Thank God for that stunning five food, right? Kind of like a big mod, kind of like another DLC. Ah. So items, characters, rooms, monsters, bullshit like that. That's cool. Watch out, maybe the next DLC is going to implement that mod, but you will have to pay for it. That's why they are not putting it to repentance. Although in the current version, mods are back, apparently. And in 404. <laughs> You're greeted by Captain Umbrella. Thieves are cowards at heart. They will dodge your heaviest attacks just as dodge your civic duty. Swift blade is best to defeat them. Here, try these out. Dual wield weapons are effective against fast enemies like thieves, but are weak against armored enemies like Empire. Ooh.
Sorry, I had to dual wield. Had to dual wield my balls. All right. Possible, but repentance is said to be the last DLC. Pff, they all say that. It's the last DLC. And then Isaac 3 comes out. Uh, resurgence or something, you know? <laughs> and it will have mod support in its first DLC. <laughs> this is going to be Resurgence Big Bad or something. <laughs> I don't know. Resurgence Plus. <laughs> Isaac 3 wouldn't be a DLC. Yeah, but. It would have its own DLCs, you know, because it would ha need to have its own DLCs. It can't just be a one big game to end all Isaac games as I almost tip over my glass of water. Water. Repentance does seem to be a bang to go out with. Hmm. I don't know. I still refuse to buy it in a bundle, that's for sure. Got Thrones Blade! I never understood the duel. If you are at war, use every tool at your disposal. If not, let things lie. I'll let your body lie on the floor, dead. Because, you know, they could make the, uh, the mod support like a standard update. That you don't have to purchase. Like any normal video game would do. You know, I don't know why it's a fucking purchasable DLC that has the uh, mode support enable lure code in it, you know? It's like, uh, what, what the fuck? It's, it's a scam, I'm calling it. Fuck em. Stun thieves, press six strikes that cause stun to thieves, stun their mistake, <coughs> garbage damage. It's good against thieves and it's light. Okay, it's a shit damage. Holy fuck and a half. Still, you find yourself <clears throat> hunting relics. Do you not wonder why or what they may do? No, I'm, I'm, I'm a mercenary. I'm paid to get them, I get them. Fuck you. Entering the wilds, your quest takes you far away from the city, whilst wildlands stretch out before you. Your companion reminds you of the Emperor's mission. One relic was stolen by brazen thieves, another is in the clutches of a shady merchant. One is enshrined in a small village in the east. East? I guess we are looking north? So, wait, that's a village. So that's east. Mm, okay. So this is north? East? Oh, wait, I'm stupid. Oh yeah, this is north. Ah, oh, this is east. I'm stupid. I I mixed east with west like an idiot. <laughs> it's like mixing left and right. Jesus, whatever, dude. Um, <clears throat> Malakif shouts. Who knows? Wait, we need four, and he's talking about three. Huh. Oh, they move. The merchant and the thieves move. That's pretty cool. All right, we are not going to use this garbage. So I have. Shittier blades. Weather blades. Just like poop. Oh, I don't have the. Okay, well, let's go with the cutthroat. This bullshit. I can't use it because I'm dual wielding. That's fine. We can roll. Let's try and hunt these fuckers down. No. Even peace hides steel within. Oh, what the fuck? Dangerous wilds. Sure, it's worth it. It's kind of dumb. I mean, repentance might be worth it, but I don't want <laughs> buy Afterbirth Plus. Fuck that. <laughs> you know, I'd rather save my money and buy a Lost uh, Epoch when it comes out, or Epoch, or whatever. It's so close to release. It's just another four years. <laughs> nah. It's probably going to be out next year you know rona fucked everything everybody's plans in 2020 so everything is delayed by a year on top of everything so the wilds are home to many rebel many rebel criminal and beast the rebel beasts 
One-handed weapons are recommended against northerners. You can change equipment and inventory. Trapper of Frost and Four Greed. Yeah, you'll be fine. You know, focus down the Trapper of Fox. And then uh, break the neck of the rest of them. Don't you just love it when you break a neck and it just does the crunch? Ah, best. And then the body goes limp. Sometimes they shake a little. <laughs> Murder! Mm. Alright. <clears throat> Why are you only wearing one armor piece on your arm? A lovely pair of fine blades, fit for the finest gentleman. Uh, less sharpened, well cared for, and sharp. I'm no happier to be here than Suck you my dick! Yes. Ah! I'm pressing the wrong button again. He was off screen, I didn't see his fucking thing. Fuck. Oh, this guy's dying. I don't want to lose him right in the beginning. Oh, that is awesome. Fucking kidding me, I was just about to press C. That was a very bad first fight. Oh look, he's looking right at us. Frame. Battle resolve, you scavenge bullshit. Hope it's the hammer. No, I'll wield it. Fuck this dual with blade bullshit things. I want my shield back. It gives defense. Ah. Alright. <clears throat> what is happening? Oh, I got stretcher wilds revealed for some reason. That's cool. I guess. I mean, if I can do them without taking any hits, it's a free item. Mm -hmm. Going this way. This is coming this way, this might go down, you know. And we get closer to the village a little bit. Dangerous wilds, great. Oh my god, I'm so fucking dead. Anarchist of greed, uh a gre uh, of A of greed, narcist. <laughs> it's a narcist. It's gonna smoke weed or something. Lads are home to many rebel, blah de blah, blah, yeah. So it's basically a f flamethrower guy. That's fine. One day I will get good at the combat again and I'll be able to just farm my, uh, my stuff. <clears throat> but not today. By sea and sun, fate and fame! <laughs> Two of these assholes. Invincibility. There's the other guy. Ding. So when my stun icon uh, flashes, I can give them the big stun. Yeah, yeah. See, I was mashing V <laughs> instead of C. I might need to put the thing on V. So when I just switch with my finger from D to C with my pointy index, 
kind of kind of fuck up. <laughs> oh well. <clears throat> another four fame, another equipment chose from two. It's gonna be the Berserker's Creed. Fame required six. Well, we have that. Take 50 hits in combat to unlock this shard. What? He wants me to take hit? Gain plus three gold whenever you draw a gold gain card. Do more damage the more life you lose in combat. I mean, does previously lost life count? Probably not. Stun bash, but it gives five defense. You know, and I mean, plus three gold every time we draw. Oh, yeah. And I'll put that on. The power rage grants is often misunderstood. I love rage. I mean, not the game. It was okay. But I never played the second. Children are always the ones to suffer most. Fuck you. They mean, have an excess <laughs> of capacity for it. It's easy to torture kids. Just steal their sweet roll. You linger near a fort in the abandoned docks of the great city, with a capital C. Malaclip slides out of an alley and strokes his mustache. What the fuck? Well, coin slave, he says it again. God damn it. This empire has stolen the mate children hidden away in there. Or has the... whatever. No, I'm not about... No, I'm not fond of children, as you know. Near call time by Marcus asks a real wish to last sweet roll to a trying child. Ah, someone stole your sweet roll? But I won't give me the cure if we don't rescue them. He outlines the plans to you. Swearingly brief. You go in there, kill them, and take the kids. These forts are all interconnected, so even if we defeat one lost, the one lot of guards, there are gonna be more. You have to get in and out quick. If we two steal monster cards within 60 seconds, steal monster? What the fuck is that? Is it gonna be like platinum? Gonna be leaving for now. You still a viewer? Thank you. And have a good one, Bob. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you for sharing me your favorite mod, or DLC, or DLC-like mod of Bizek. Have a good one. I'll be slaying musketeers. Oh boy, and garbage people. 60 seconds? What the fuck? I don't have that. I can't do that. Darkrips is drawn a helpful dagger in the dirt, self over is part of the danger, generous find a way in. Hmm, ask why they would kidnap them. They are feeding it to the Emperor. Ah, alright. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh, 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 ah! At the exact moment you leave your hiding spot, a soldier swings the gates wide open. Oh, hello there. You and the other soldier lock eyes, startled. Before the young man comes to sense his shots, intruders! Oh, I did, it's more. <laughs> Through there, you see him disappear in the sewer gate. You follow up before the soldiers find you. The rough stone walls of the narrow passageway grate against, great against your skin as you. Feel your way through the sewers as you stumble blindly into Malaclips and clumsily plunge into the water. <laughs> Wait, now? What the fuck? So this is now. We still have... This is interesting. And I'm not going to be able to do that in 60 seconds. Hopefully we can reduce the soldiers' amounts, you know, later uh, still. What is this? I hope this works! Oh, it's one of these idiots. Oh, that's why. What is the thing? Oh. F. F. Pressing F. What the fuck? I really don't know what happened there. But that's fine. I, guess. I wonder if stronger shields will give more bash damage. The final monsters he follows gurgling Malaclip's gazes at the bodies with a troubling, troubled look on his face. This one is wearing a necklace, looks like a family heirloom. Take it. Money. 
The bar usually fond of looting and sting doesn't allow you to touch the necklace. What the fuck? It's okay if he does it, it's not okay if I want to, you know, yoin shit from corpses, they don't need it. Let's be realistic here. Corpses don't need that. Appear up at the access tunnel. It's set too high into the wall. You won't be able to go back. Explore the sewers. Huge success. Ah, fuck! I would... Ah, I hesitated. Ah, oh, that hurts. Ah, oh, that hurt my brain. That hurt my self-esteem. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna click this. Nope, this... It was the huge... Whatever. Find a familiar piece of equipment stuck in a particularly unpleasant clump of sludge. Hmm. I mean, that's good. I'll take it. Motives gags if you wipe the sludge and add the item to your inventory. Wait right, a maker coins let fuck you. Hey, there's no uh little thingy. I know you're penniless, but must you be so distressing? Dude, it's items. Find a way out. Oh boy. Huge success. Here we go. Yes! By searching for the exit, you find a sealed crate of honey. Honeyed toffees. Covered in shit. Take the toffee. Obviously take the toffee. That's gonna be good for it. Wow, seven food. Hello. How could this becomes you to a wrought iron gate? If I'm not mistaken, and I never am. How dare you question me? This will take us directly into the fort. Hold on. Okay, I put on the shield, so that's good. I was to go first. Leave the moisture and murk of the sewers behind you. If you find yourself in a cellar, there are wine caskets, jars of pickled vegetables, and a sizable iron cage wreathed in pulsing light. Uh, within the cage, is the missing mage children huddle, unsure of your intentions. I'm here to kill you. Arcus reaches for the heavy lock upon the gate, the cage's gate, it sizzles, and he drops it quickly. I fry the skirts that burns. He presses a long metal implement into your hand mm, and steps back. You tentatively touch the lock. Oh, that 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 sounds cool. Tentatively touch the lock. Doesn't burn you, so it's anti-mage. Because the kids are also mages. Magi, whatever. You attempt to pick the lock. Oh, fuck. Oh, what is happening? The pendulum swings like a scythe. Oh. Bearing hope or failure. Okay, but what am I supposed to do? Am I hitting the white? I'm hitting the blue. Select? <laughs> I don't know what this is. I I'm guessing the red is bad. <laughs> oh wait, I clicked and nothing happened. Okay, I'm gonna click select. Fuck! Poorly done. I was going for the white. You must harness your will and find the quiet stillness inside you. I'm guessing the white is the huge success, the blue is the uh, success, and the reds are the fuck-ups. Almost got the white, you know? I almost I almost got white supremacy, but I love the red. <laughs> I'm saying some stupid shit today. Look like lockpick slips from your fingers and jams into your eyes. Ah! You're surprised by the sudden sound of footsteps shuffling up the stairwell. The barn stops the cheese wedges he had been pilfering from the cellar shelves. Oh no. Freeze in place, wait for the steps to get louder and louder. Seven boy comes down the stairs, break his neck! Stops dead in his tracks because we break his neck. <laughs> he takes one look at you, picking the lock. Terrified children in the cage and Malcolm slay them with stolen cheese before backing away in fear and running up the stairs. Oh, we're gonna fail this so hard. He will alert the guards. <laughs> it's another one. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for the blue, god damn it. Alright, this is shit. <laughs> yeah. Nicely timed. <laughs> With a click, the lock pops open and clatters to the floor. Okay, children, Marcus Alcori pats on the head. Pats one on the head. Your mother and I are going to go kill the bad man. <laughs> your mother. You stay here unless we die, in which case you're on your own. Children nod, numb with terror. Well, I'm fucked. 
Sneak up the stairs and survey the scene before you. The soldiers mill about the fort's courtyard. Across the spell book, I have an incantation that will cover the teleport a few soldiers far away from here, potentially to the death. I require some of your blood. Why? Is he a blood mage now? Ah, these are spells I rarely use. I'll need blood magic to be able to perform them. The bard notes your raised eyebrow and clutches his arm def def defensively. Not me, I'm a gentle flower. Besides, look at you, you seem to be bursting with blood. Uh, uh, how much are we talking about? You know what? We'll never find out if you don't choose the blood option. Blood me. Five, that's fine. Blood drips onto the room line page. The page has eight. The wheel is one of my favorite oh, innovations. It combines many different elements of our game into one. And it's making me dizzy as fuck. So there is failure, and I'm guessing a couple of the soldiers are the ones that we can get rid of. If we get the soldier, but if we get the failure... Let's see what happens if we get the failure. Hey! <laughs> Confirm or choose again. Oh, I can choose again because he's the thing. Yeah, yeah, I think he is the power. Yeah, but, but he's now gone for three turns. Yeah, I remember that. Let's get the huge failure. Oh, no, whatever. <laughs> This game is fun. Like it's a dance oh right to fight. <laughs> Move faster next time. What the fuck is wrong with him? He shoots the other way. Wow. Oh! It becomes more blood. And it has the same amount of garbage. You know what? Fuck it. Oh, yes! Okay, some of the musketeers are gone. Good shit. Shadows envelop a group of soldiers playing pebbles. They rope the stones guiltily before vanishing into the air. So I can do this more and more. But I will die, so... You know what? I just need to survive 60 seconds. I can't kill these in 60 seconds. Intruder! And then we run into battle. I'm gonna get beaten up. I'll try to focus down the shooties. They're hopefully squishy. No. Don't have a hammer, so... It's for what? <clears throat> Basketeer. They have grenades. Great. <laughs> then in the distance, only the most skilled are recruited into musketry. Musketeers fire heavy attacks. Defend with a shield as evade you for your life. No! Ha! Suck my dick! How dare you! Ah! 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 I fucking dodged, dude! I was pressing space! Some bitch! No. Kill this man. Ten seconds. No. Just a couple more. No. We have to run and leave the kids behind. Or maybe this is how we just die. We are overwhelmed, captured, and murdered. The blade of a horn, blare of a horn, scores of empire guards fill the courtyard. Mark Lips flings a crackle of blinding sparks, pulls you towards the exit and your escape. Rip. <sighs> that was such a fucking waste. Dying. Ah. God damn it. Okay, that's easy and that's easy. Okay. Ease. Man, how the hell are you supposed to do that in 60 seconds? I guess a better weapon and not fucking up is a good thing. Also not adding more cards. Alright, I'm 
kind of getting tired of these little cutscenes. Shield! When the skies are darkened by your enemies' volleys, fight in the shade of this professional wooden bulwark. Okay, it's a fucking shield. Don't fucking stun that, stun this! Okay, excuse me, that was bullshit. I took two damage for no reason. Why? He was already smashing the ground before my invincibility movement was over. Whatever, dude. What I get? Extinguisher. Fire A useful less tool, damage. Ooh. but simple magic. That's good. I like. So that's what fame is for. You can only equip certain items if you have. One more relic is within your grasp. If you have Who enough hired fame. these thieves, that is the true question. Is it possible to lose fame? I wonder. Because that would be kind of weird. Like you have the ring on, but then you lose your fame, and it's like the ring suddenly cuts your finger off and falls to the ground. What? All right. So the thieves moved on to us. Four dudes. Eight dudes. Thieves' erratic movement crosses right into your path. You catch them frantically loading the relic onto a horse and cart. Just hold him off for a couple of minutes while we ready the horses. I, I'm please, no more timed fighting. I hate that. I hate timed missions in every single game. Fuck them. Alright, no more fucking cutscenes. Come to me! Ah! Whew. What? Ah, fuck off! So, in mid swing, you cannot change your garbage. So, you gotta be prepared. Oh, fuck my asshole. It was like me jump. Oh my god, this game is harder than the previous one because they are not as lenient with garbage like the things I'm trying to pull. See? It was timed. Great. I'm quitting this game. I hate time missions. So what, do I need to hunt them down? I need to hunt them down. Come back. That's bullshit. What is this camera? Stop it, this camera, dude. What the fuck am I doing? What is this? At least kill four. I still took damage from there. Oh fuck, I'm gonna die. Oh fuck, he died! I was like, slash him, just one slash, but I couldn't get the slash before. Well, that was a quick end. But you know what, I'm fine with that. We're doing the Empress. Hey, a but I still, well <laughs> I still get the token for the shield. Combat solves so little. It has ended this, however. Hell yeah. Putting their shield to good use. You get the reinforced shield. Mm. Not this time. Nope.
Well, we're doing the Empress. Fuck time. This game fights. is merely the lesser game. It is not the true game of life and death, merely my model of it. I must prepare you for the challenges you will face when Oi. we meet Callus in truth. Who's Callus? Earn fame in order to wield the legendary weapon Hrathus Ire. Villages of the northern outskirts are under assault from northern raiders. Defeat the mighty shaman who is leading their raids. Mighty hero, gain enough fame to wield the mighty Hrathus Ire. The raids encounters with northerners are common in these parts. Okay. Well. Want the shrine. I want this, this. I'm wrestling for money. Cartographer. Burning building. The fiend in need. No, market thief. I'm not putting this in. Fuck that. Don't exchange. The Empress is a symbol, a leader of the northern clans, but not their only one. Now we come to one of the new nuances of our game. The hunt for fame and esteem would not work for all players, but it works for you. I can sense it in you. Your pride, your skill. In time, what? we will learn all of you. Learn my right foot. Raiders have destroyed our village, the Elder's gift. The Elder of Talos explains in a hushed voice. Was sent by a dark shaman of the north. They were searching for this. A large warhammer from his cloak. Where the hell was that? Rata's ire. This is the only weapon that will break the seal protecting the encampment. Hands you the weapon. Anger is a powerful force. It's so stupid. I'm not famous enough to wield it. I'm like, ah, thank you for this ginormous hammer, but I am not worthy. <laughs> like, what? Just fucking use it. I don't like this fame system already. Shockwave, perform a powerful strike that causes knockdown to a single target, impact tracks enemies and causes stun. Armor breaker and heavy. Need 20 fame. Weapon is heavier than you imagine, pearls weighed down by some hidden magic printing. <laughs> You're not a celebrity, you don't deserve Excalibur. Rawr. Yeah, that looks straight in your eyes as though peering into your soul. All weapons are for all men, but but my character is not a man. Whatever. Only those who have demonstrated great acts of valor our cur and courage may bear her to ire. Do well, remember that. Fuck it, I'm not questioning anything. You must find the courage! The villages need a hero. Let's go to Braidon. Right. King's Road, whatever that is. Thank you, I trust the sacrifice of Talos. Go, not going in vain. I'm just gonna sell the hammer the first chance I get. At what point does honor bend to pragmatism? This is the one that if we fuck it up, we have to fight. I want to fight. I want to kill! Back to the bones. I hope you have learned to be their master. I want to kill! Yes. Yes! Come on out, boys! It's only four dudes. I'm Unless it's timed, of course. People, it always ends up like this. I 
put on my game face. Ha! Hell yeah. And now we break the woman's neck. Well done. You continue to impress. Or fame. Five food. Ooh. Hell yeah, food is not a problem anymore. In my day, thieves kept their distance. None would pickpocket a mage for fear of failure, or worse, success. They pickpocket your heart. The work of the bazaar is a hive of activity. Traders from across the land call out the passers by to tell us to sell their wares. The sun sets beats down on the crowded streets. You pause briefly to draw water from a fountain. Feel something tug on the inside of your tunic. Oh, they're trying to steal my heart. Running quickly, you discover a pickpocket shanking your asshole. Making of it some of your belongings. Not my food. My food! Oh, that's whatever. <laughs> Minus 20 gold. I didn't even have that much. You jump to your feet. Catch the glimpse of the thief as they weave through the crowd. Oh no, my 10 gold. Whatever will I do? Mm. Alright, you saw it. Keep your dance, deaf. The thief mutters as they drop, <laughs> drop your belongings on the ground. To gather up your things, the thief runs off back into the crowd. Fuck off. Well, we didn't get the huge success, but now we know what we need for a token. Oh, These right. tokens represent the expansion of the game. More options, more cards, more opportunities. To fail. My cat returns. Ugh. My cat is going to die soon. The table has changed, yet the stakes remain the same. Uh, what life heck? or death? God damn it! Paper remains the same. All right. By storing the docks of Iron Peak, a tattooed woman calls to you from a small fishing sloop. She shakes her hand as she introduces herself as Rana Ishmael, captain of the SS. <clears throat> Just SS. <laughs> you look strong of arm and sure of aim. Have you considered a career, career in the fast-paced world of deep-sea harpoon fishing? What is that? It's a popular pastime among the kinds of folks who need to prove their physical prowess. She says, brandishing a rust-covered harpoon. Can I press space? Oh my god, I can. Hell yeah. I can get you out on the water right now. Or for a little extra gold, I know where I can acquire a premium harpoon. It'll have steady rain. Behind her, the sea beckons. I don't have money for that shit, so let's go rusty harpoon. Captain Rana sails your boat away from the docks, out in the open waters. As the shoreline disappears, Rana drops anchor. You need me to tell you how this works? Or are you ready to throw some more boons? I don't know what I'm doing. She puts one arm on your shoulder and points down into the water. Throw it in the water? It's got fish in it? <laughs> To be careful of the reef wall. If your harpoon ends up in there, I'll kill you. The deeper you go, the better the experience. Finally, the shipwreck way down there. The old merchant is dead in there. There's a lot of gold. I'll aim for that. 
Get a firm grip on the harpoon. Make aim at the reef below. <laughs> hey, Ben. Oh. He just sits here and mouths at me. He's like, stop with the annoying fucking noises. Ha! Fuck, I missed! I'm so stupid! Wait, isn't that the merchant thing? I, I aimed the lowest. <laughs> Her harpoon hits the water with a sad splash and disappears. Zrana shakes her head and sighs. You suck! Get a firm grip on the harpoon and take aim at the reef below. Okay, we have another shot. I hate this minigame. God damn it! Fuck you! <laughs> and I haul your catch up onto the deck. Come on, grit sucker! <laughs> Special. Is it common or special? Currently viewing a great suck. <laughs> it sucks grip. I like it. Can I equip it? It's a, like a footwear. Suck the grit from between my toes. It was a common grit sucker. Not a glamorous catch, but food is food. Ran says she clubs it over the head. Pow. The sun hangs low on the horizon. Rana raises the anchor and says, Time to return to the docks and to distribute the sea's bounty. But a successful haul? One grit sucker. Yeah, distribute that. Rana gives you a casual salute. A bucket of chum dangling from her arm. So this is not a new companion. It's just gonna be a big treasure for the thingy, probably. If you ever want to go out on the water again, you know where to find me? Wait, can we reuse this tile? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh. That would've been cool. Now we have a bunch of food. All the maiden. Gold. No amount of gold would satisfy a mortal, but if that is what you wish, her ancient voice falters on words as with long unused. Let us see what the next town holds. Finding the Talos Elder's instructions, you find yourself to the road to Brayden. That's good. Dusk falls as you reach your destination. Oh! Do not take light Brayden is on fire. Fame. Being a figurehead is not without consequences. You arrive at Brayden to find it under attack from Raiders. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, they are fighting back, okay. The village burns, three brave farmers attempt to defend the last of the surviving villagers. One calls out, please help, we must stop these savages before all is lost. Can I be like, I need some fame. <laughs> Draw your weapon to rush to their aid. Do I have a one-handed weapon? Yes, I do. I'm like, time out, I need to switch my things. I go over to my bags, fish out a rusty sword, <laughs> and then run into battle. As the village burns around me. It's fine. It's fine, it's a video game. Why do you video keep game. getting us into these situations? Fuck you! Ah. Suck my dick! survived so he can pay me with fame pay me in exposure <laughs> and, ooh bastion of purification hell yeah get this thing that's a lot of extra defense nine or no eleven to fame that's nothing saving one farmer oh. 
Rip. So I guess two fame performers. Mm. Thank you, adventurer. They cry. They cry. I've helped save what remains of our people, but sadly our village is no more. Please accept this small token of your gratitude. And the token is just them going onto fucking Facebook or Twitter and be like, yeah, this adventure is kind of okay, not too, not too great, but I watch for them. Yeah, likes, thumbs up, dude, thumbs up. It's just a prank, bro. It's not time to celebrate. They are surely mis mustering to raid the town of Terran. They point further south down the riverbank. If you are a true hero, you will surely save them. <laughs> you don't know me. With another village lost to the northerners, you set out for the next town without delay. Hell yeah. <laughs> so, when I said I will sell it first chance I get, well, person is only worth as much as their word. <laughs> oh, it's 10 defense instead of 5? Or 7? I don't know what the other was. No, I'm gonna get the... Uh, actually... Yeah, it's 17 out of 50. What's Winter's Bane? 1 out of 30? Oh, defeat Northerners with a finisher. Oh, I thought it was... Wow, that sucks. Although there are a lot of Northerners here, so... But it costs 30. Fuck that. The village is burned! <laughs> oh, that was good! Would you like to... <laughs> it seems like you are brain damaged. Would you like to enable apprentice mode? This will making combat easier. What? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> that was funny as fuck. All right, let's let's do this. Let's do this again. <coughs> now we touch on the true aspects oh. of heroism. This story can begin with your irrelevance, but it cannot end in that fashion. Rex to riches. I am so much more of this world than ever I was when the game of life and death was my sole occupation. Whoa. Ask about the Empire. Empire? What good is the Empire? They are stupid tax collectors and carrion crows. Remember to evade your taxes, guys. Six raids here this year and not a soldier to be seen. So much for protection. The last year I went at the worst of the guides. How about the shaman? Twisted creature I have with great power. Never seen on the battlefield, but I hear she commands her warriors from her camp in the forest of the east. Ah, to the east. We send our warriors to find her, but a magical barrier prevents anyone from entering her sanctum. I said that her this ire can break through such a barrier. If she were attacked at her camp, these raids could surely be stopped for good. I'm gonna sell Hretha's ire to the shaman. I'm gonna be like, I broke your seal with this. You want this? Give me 500 coins. I don't know. How do I use this? Great artifacts require great heroes. I'm not even going to read that. What do I need to do? Save people. Oh, fifth, defeat the shaman before the fifth village falls. So I'm guessing five layers. I just need a hero. Let's go to Brayden. Brayden. Right, begin my quest. 
May the gods guide you. Although you clearly dabbled with gods to arrive here, you do not need them. You have your own strengths. So pretty. The art with this color, it's like a shiny Pokemon. The other the only difference being that Pokemon is trash. Fight me. Your quest brings you to a remote shrine high in the mountains. It is revered among the few local peasants for its remarkable healing properties. Oh, that sucks. First thing I step on is a healing shrine. Uh, you kneel before a shrine and beseech the gods to take pity on you for being so healthy. Healthy! So healthy. Uh, maximum health plus five. Sunshine lollipops appear through a break in the clouds to bathe you in a radiant glow. Oh! That was actually not bad. Never mind. It's pretty fun. This way. Hey, General Store. Uh, <laughs> I'm a madman. I want to click. Oh. I'm not selling it. Fuck. <clears throat> I'm broke as fuck. When the hero runs in, the villain takes their time to bait their trap. Be careful, lest they put you in your place. My place is in a grave. A rustling behind you is all the wearing is all the warning you get that your life is in danger. Turn as the cords of a northern bola wrap around your body. So I'm gonna start out being grappled or you know in struggling mode. Probably my guess at least. Or not. You lot are hardly worth our time. Hey, you stupid fuck! No. There's the other motherfucker. That was bullshit. Hell oh, yeah. Search them. Pain or losing money? What? Why would I lose money? Jesus. Like, I search them so much that I get robbed while I'm searching them. What the fuck? Travel through the defeated Northern's belongings and uncover a stash of gold. Hmm? Uh, I wish I could go back to the store, but it's one time. That thing is so pretty. Look at that. Wow, shiny. You'll notice like that my carriage buy. does not stop for every distressed <laughs> traveler along I'll the way. kill them all again. Ah! I'm not even re-rolling. I don't want to re-roll. Don't force me. I want to fight. Or maybe I can get more fame if I get the good outcome, you know? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Seven. Lucky seven. You have to stop helping people. It always ends up like this.
What? Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I hate that though. Oh, what the fuck? He wasn't even that close. I press the wrong button like 70% of the time. When I see the green, I press the bash button, not the block button. <laughs> ah, what is wrong with me? I should switch to the uh, things in the options, you know? <laughs> Although then instead of bashing, I would be sm spamming block, which would be even the same garbage. You know? God damn it. 9-11 You strike me as the type who would put themselves in harm's way for the benefit of others. No, for fame. Yet, perhaps you'd rather have someone else sacrifice themselves for you. Oh, can I throw him into the flames? Malaclips is shining up ahead as you make your way down the cobbled street. See lights flickering on the road in front of you. As you approach, you see a building. Flames and smoke blowing out of its upper room's win room windows. What? Crowd has formed outside, passing buckets of water between one another to temper the blaze. <laughs> That's not water. It's tears. As you push your way through the crowd, you see a woman frantically pleading to the villagers, Please help! My family is in there! Anyone? Please help! Brave the fire yourself for fame and glory. Ah! So, I don't know what that is, but it looks like... I don't know what that is. But this might be one uh, person saved. So, failure, failure, pain. Peasant, peasant, peasant. I don't know what that is, but we're going to continue. Because I'll take it. Throw Excellent. A, a wise decision. Oh, okay. It might have been a huge failure, to be honest. Through a haze of smoke, you find a woman's youngest daughter crying under the bed. You coax her out, scoop her up, and break her neck. Carry her out of the place. Ledger, ah! Rushes to you. Thank you, brave adventurer. I can take it from here. But be warned, the building is not safe. It will soon collapse, so I can go back. Adds another life pain. Fuck it. Let's go. Oh, it's huge failure. Oh, shit. Hiya! Oh, fuck. Pain. I'm not going to get him decommissioned. Sudden crack the beam above you gives away and breaks your neck. It retreats your steps back out of the building. Ouch. More! God damn it! All right, I'm done. Uh, I'll take the pain. As a hero, would. The room erupts in flames, scorching your skin as you leap from the room. In journey, you make your way back to safety. Ow. As you exit the building, it collapses behind you. While you were unable to save everyone, the village is great for your valiant efforts. A little money? <laughs> no? Fuck! Actions, of course, have consequences. You cannot think that the steps you have taken will bring a simple peace. No. I need to focus on saving or protecting these assholes. Oh, uh, I'm not good with protecting others, though. I just kind of do my own thing, you know? It's gonna run in and get fucked. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll see what I can do. I'm gonna body block everybody with my rusty stick. I hope this works. I am the one. Ha! Suck my dick. Don't get close to my presence. Ah. Oh, I 
I'm so good. Don't you touch my dudes? Hell yeah. Protector. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> he was so disappointed. <laughs> Shaking his head. Oh. Hell yeah. Extinguisher or this thing? I'll take this thing. Ten. Saving all of the peasants, you receive four fame. Thank you, hero, they cry. You have saved our people, but sadly our village is no more. It's fine. Eight. Ooh. Not time to celebrate, go to Tarin. Alright. Old Maiden. Hell yeah. Because we get more for our rage suit. If you fall in a trap God once, you may blame error. To fall in the same trap again smacks of foolishness. Or just very good traps, who knows? Or maybe I'm blind. By seeing some Come at me! the hang of it a little bit hell yeah search them what what of the northerners grabs you with his last breath he runs his blade into your side oh I bleed gold <laughs> What? Why did my purse get like ripped and the gold just spills out and I'm like, well I'm not picking it up. It fell in blood and shit. That's nasty. What? That's that's kind of stupid. Especially since the flavor text is he runs his blade into your side. Lose ten coins. Eh? <laughs> Whatever dude. Hey, that's why I want money. Hell yeah. Ooh, Indomitable Will. What's this from? Starvation. The player cannot starve to death, but can starve down to one life. I think we are okay. Well, that's a good thing. Gamers Bank is not bad. Holds out. I'm gonna go with Gamers Bank again. That's, that looks good. It ensures that we always have food as long as we roll. Oh. Also, we can still camp. Campfires offer a chance to see what your companion has to say about your current challenge. Completely forgot about this feature. Find yourself at the trader's camp. All hail the defender of villagers, the trader's cheer. Come make camp and join us. Food sales, equipment sales. Review mission. Burning the whole village up to the ground seems a bit much. Think about the textiles and vine wasted. He, he has a point, I mean... They don't raid 100%. They just burn it down. It's like, what? 
reinforced shield. from the north and destroy their village. Now we seek refuge. What if I do this? Oh, the things didn't re refresh, so... I can't just abuse it. The more time we spend together, the more unsavory your allies become. Goblin Tracker. The tunnels leaning from Goblin Town provide easy access to the surface world, providing you know where you're going. Fortunately, you're lost. Running a band. Right. A band? Meet the long goblin archer, his face painted in lurid colors. He skulks sheepishly behind the boulder, squinting at the path ahead. It's an outcast. Human, he hisses, or stoked. You can never tell the difference. The Red Cloud plan is tested with keeping these roads clear, but the monster with big cross crystal warts. Warts? Oh, it's one of those tainted horrors. It's kind of the path ahead, guarding. There's no way forward. Yeah, this thing. That's easy. Ask about the Red Cloud clan. The goblin crosses his arms. Ours is a great and storied clan of warriors, heroes, and goose wranglers. They have. Err, watched over these goblin roads. <laughs> oh, ever. We have ever watched over these goblin roads except on Tuesday. Because it's too soon Tuesday, then it's... Okay. Alright. Oh, you can't! The goblin says, shaking his head. It, wouldn't, it would be shame to the clan if outside I perform my duties. Do I have to have him deal the killing blow? Red Cloak may guard the Goblin Roads. Unless, yes, this would work. Kneel down, human. Is he going to jump on my head? Hail in front of him, he wipes the very green grease paint from his face and slaps it misery onto yours. Ah. Rise, fellow Red Claw, rise and punch that shit. In the jug. If it doesn't have a jug, we'll just have to kill it, I guess. Ah, so sad. There's a bridge above. Oh no, the entire place is tainted. I hope this works! Suck my dick! Oh! Step at me again! Right, they didn't take damage from that this time. I shanked his butt. Those are the easiest things so far. Especially alone. The passage cleared of the blight, the goblin runs over to you. You did it! Not that I had my doubts, not that I had filth the gold on the creature knocking your head block off or block off. <laughs> Jesus. Ha! <laughs> 50 golds! I might just break your neck and take the gold. So is the passage leading out to the chamber. The roads are clear now. If you'd like, I can lead you back to the surface. Oh, oh! what is that? Calling points at the spot on your map. Would you like to service here? Really? Okay. And any others? More color, if nothing else. Hey, I still got the token. I was about to say, fuck, I didn't take his thingy, so I don't get the token, but I still got it, so it's fine. I mean, it doesn't matter, because I already have everything uncovered, so I can just... Do -do 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 -do, you know, for free. Oh. More bloodshed. And who to blame? The Empire. Blame the Empire. Blame Epic. Fucking up this game version, dude. Help, we must stop these savages before all is lost. So it's another village burning with the uh, no trappers, it's all frost boys, so this is gonna be a mayhem. Alright. I need to get hit though, to unlock my suit. My suit uh, token, so. <laughs> Me fucking up is on purpose, I swear. You should run right, people. while you have a chance. No! You don't hurt the old man. No! Ah! 
Ah! No, they're bleeding. Attention to their half bars. Too much. <clears throat> oh, they all survived. Nice. Two more, and we can do the hammer time. That's a lot of food. We need to go to Danganronpa. All right, that's the exit, so we go this way. Hell yeah, fishing. What about the premium? 10 gold, Ramp heads off down the docks and returns hastily. See news of her arms bulging under the weight of the new harpoon. This will improve your aim, provided you can raise it off the deck. By safely stowed, Captain Runner sails the boat away. Pendulum beam will move slower. Right. Gotta aim for the white spot. That's so easy now. <laughs> Breathe, you have done well. <gasps> Harpoon descends further into the reef <clears throat> and mines the core of the planet. Harpoon plunges to the lowest depths of the ocean. The treasure glitters on the ocean floor. Wait, more? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it gives you a musical cue as well. Ah! <laughs> I choke. That will set you in good stead from here. No, I almost got the token. God damn it. A horned gloom grouper, or a six loon grouper, who knows, but it's horny. Fantastic, on a says, holding a massive flat-headed fish over the railing, horned gloom grouper. Look at the size of him. I'm not going to do the, no the voice again, because fuck that. Sun hangs along the horizon and raises the anchor and says, It's time to return to the docks and to distribute the sea's bounty. I like bounty. It does not taste like it's coconut, but I like it. It's good, it's good chocolate. Young northerners await you on the docks. A burly warrior reeking of fish and saltware that points at Rana accusatorily. Well, that's a harpoon. There she is, the one stole my father's whaling harpoon. Motherfucker. I fucking called it. I hope I get fame for this and we need two more. Let's teach her what we do to pirates around these parts. Time to kill people. Maybe the harpoon buying is the token getting stuff. And not the uh, big riches. Who knows? We'll see. Oh, I just fly. There's mosquitoes. By sea and sun, fate and fame! Fuck you up! Ah, what the motherfucker? I pressed C already, dude. Alright, winter bait. Oh, yeah. That's one. But he still hit my shield off. Whatever, dude. <clears throat> That's fine. 
I mean, taking damage is also good because I have the uh, Berserker's Creed. Oh. I'm, I'm just farming tokens. Nice work protecting the cargo. This is Rana, she rolls one of the northerners off the pier, feeding the fish. That cleans your catch. It's very successful haul. Gives you a casual salute, a bucket of chum dangling from her arm. God damn it, it's the big treasure. Fuck. They have not but contempt for you. I cannot understand why you would have anything to do with them. I want to kill them all! Break their neck. <laughs> Like little old man. <laughs> old Smurfs. Better gnomes dying. Alright, the penalties no longer death. Some of your equipment. Right. We don't have a helmet. Secrets of the land for a ring. I think that's the token. Don't have a ring. Weapon. Gold. <laughs> what if I give them the... No, 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 no. Fuck all of you. I would have given them a ring, but I don't have a ring. Fuck a thief. Ah, oh, no. Damn it. All the money is back, and that's about it. One day. Hell yeah, I'm wrestling. Let's go. It's rolling. So, we begin from the beginning, or start from the beginning again. Get some food for that. Oh shit. Yeah. Money. Now the power is yours to use. It appears you are worthy to wield the weapon of champions. Oh. The raiders will hide from you no longer. Oh shit. Turn Hrethel's ire over in your hands. The rune on its face begins emitting a golden light. It is unclear if it is now if it now weighs less or you less weighs less or you have a newfound strength, but either way you can now wield the mighty hammer. This feels like fable too. You know. You have it of fame to equip Rath's ire. Hero getting fame. Even Fable 1, 2. 1 and 2. Those are good. 3 is kinda meh. And I think there's a fourth one with loot boxes. Or some kind of boxes. Ah, it's trash. That eclipse looks on in awe. In awe of awe. Wow. That would earn a pretty penny in the markets, yeah, 26 gold. <laughs> but uh, first, let's use it to break the barrier to the northern raider camps. Camp, slay the shaman and stop the reeds once and for all. The sect. Oh, so now we are not going. So, my time limit on this, in this one, is... If I can't get enough fame within five village events, like five layers, I lose because they said at the beginning, you know, destroy them or stop them before they burn on five villages, you know. 
And now the next layer is going to be the boss, or maybe the this card is the boss itself. Because I have enough. So it took me three layers? This is the fourth one? I don't know. But it's fine. I mean, we can still dick around on these two. Lose some health, I guess. Potentially. Ooh! Or sell, <laughs> or sell the hammer. <laughs> no, but we sell Winter's Bane because we don't need it. Do you have a ring? Of course you do. Well, why not? You know, I'll buy it. Is that your choice? Really? I'll snap your neck. I'll snap everybody's neck. 20 foods, Jesus. Oh, all together, too. We don't need it. So, in this one, you cannot sell food. I think in the first game, you can sell food. Oh. I can buy some healing. But I can also just move to the last square and heal. But. Oh, yeah, let's kill him. Roll a two-way What the fuck? It didn't even roll. It slid across the table like a fucking asshole, taunting me all the way to the other side. <laughs> and you. <laughs> fuck this. <laughs> Still a better minigame than Gwent. Hey, fight me. <laughs> God damn it. At least I can get used to the big hammer before the final fight, you know? It's all according to plan. It's fine. <laughs> Alright. Oh, it is a ninja's silencers. Cut your throat! Cut your purse. Makes no mind to them. You have to stop helping people! It always ends up like this! <laughs> Big hammer. Oh. Boom. I do thunder. I'm a thunder baby now. Thunder. Yeah, you know, tremor. Kill them all. Those dice are rigged. All the fame. This gives the same amount of fame as saving the villagers. It, ugh, Jesus. You have prepared yourself for this battle. Now you must face it, but not alone, perhaps. This is as the Talos Elder said. Malakif's remarks, the shaman's sanctum is protected by a magical barrier. Best you try the hammer. If the hammer breaks, and I have to use my rusty garbage sword because I sold Winter's, sold Winter's Bane, I'm gonna be sad. Raise Rata's ire above your head and bring it down against the magical wall with all your might. Ever finds its mark and you are immediately engulfed in a blizzard of snow and ice. Howling winds spin you this way and that, and then vanish as quickly as they had appeared. Nope. What was that? What was that? Disoriented, you look around for Melaclips, but he's nowhere to be found. Oh, that was Melaclips. He's, <laughs> he's gone, he's dead. He got his neck snapped. Find your bearings and realize you are standing in a forest clearing, covered in the newly fallen snow. Step back and bump into something. Turning, you see a towering northern clansman, bold, bald and brutal. He has brute strength, if nothing else. It's a new companion. The Wanderer. He does not flinch, nor he seems even the slightest bit interested in you. He stands with weapons drawn and brow lowered. You turn to follow his gaze. Ass of Frost Haman. <laughs> Amen. Come on. <laughs> it has goat hoofs. It's not a person. 
then you see her sitting on a throne of wicker and thorns, smooth, straw-plated charms and oddities hanging around from the trees behind her. For her kneel countless raiders. Oh, before her kneel countless raiders. Worshipping their leader, a leader's feet in an eerie silent stillness. Step on us! Step on us! The defender of villages is, and the exiled one, Deshaun says with a hiss. He steps down from her throne. I know why you have come. Let this end. Kill her. I hope you know how to fight, hero, says the nor bald northerner calmly. There are more warriors here than we can kill. To we'll defeat the snake. Yes. Um, you ready your weapons. Weapon. The shaman and the clansmen surround you. Wait. Oh, I could have switched weapons. No. Whatever. It's fine. I'm gonna hammer, hammer time everybody. Big boss. I wonder what the gold requirement is. Kill her first, maybe? Look at her hands. Are those her fingers or... or I mean nails or... Are her fingers like... Flayed. Like the skin is ripped off. Raid, raid leader Gurda, or Six Urda. Raid leaders are the front line of the northern assault, centers of tactical and religious guidance. Shaman cast spells that heal her allies. Oh, attack her quickly to interrupt the spell. You mean focus her ass down. Alright. I'm gonna do that. I do not get in your fight. Stand clear of my blades, and I will stand clear of yours. I don't know what I'm playing. Stop, fuck, fuck. I don't know what I need to press on that because it says right click, right? But my shit is reversed. So I do I need to press left? No idea. Fuck. Oh. Okay, I need to press left. But it takes so fucking long. You're the fucking bitch, dude. Jesus. That guy is huge, though. What? <laughs> that was that looked like a neck break at the end. <laughs> I hate getting grappled. That is a very bad mechanic. I don't like because it's like okay, it's a mechanic, right? But you have to mash a button, so you have to reduce the life of your of your mouse. So you have to bash the fucking click like that. Even if it was a keyboard or a, con a controller, it would be the same. You have to like mash the shit out. I don't like button mashing bullshit. I hated it in, in Witcher 2 as well. I hated it in uh, fucking Metro. The first Metro where you couple door opening scenes, you have to like mash the buttons. Like, eh, fuck you. Anyway. Shaman's body rises, a dark spirit leaves her chest and vanishes into the air. The remaining raiders flee into the forest. Give me all of that. As the sky is clear, the sun beams down on the colossal warrior that had fought alongside you. I am Kogyorn, he explains. I was born in the northern clans, but I am Chinese now. You do not know us, but we were not always like this. Perhaps one day the clans will return to the tradition they have lost, and the Silk Road <laughs> will be whole again. <clears throat> I mean, what? I mean, he has white and red. Yeah, it's more Japanese than Chinese, but he's communist! Fuck it! <laughs> it's his story now, he's Chinese. <clears throat> I have nothing against Chinese people. Please, don't cancel me. You and I have cleared a small part of the stain from my honor this day. If you call, I will answer. It reaches out a massive hand and claps your forearm and breaks it too because it's so strong. Let us head back and find your friend. And if that you and Cold Bjorn Cold Bjorn Cold Brew Make your way back through the forest in search of Malakabs. So that's why they removed Malakabs, because they introduced a new one. How clever. Another card returns to my deck. 
Do not worry. I have more challenges before you will be ready to face my foe. I hope I get that one too. Well done. Another northerner falls before you, and a new companion joins your journey. But if we need the shaman of the north, we get armor of gluttony. Probably we, we probably eat more. Like we eat like two every step, if I had to guess. Ring of food. More food per food gain, I guess. Pious robes. Frontier Barboot, finally a goddamn helmet. Before defeating the Shaman of the North, there's fame and shame. Watchtower. It's a dick rocket. <laughs> it's Bezos is dick rocket. This garbage. And Bridge Skirmish. Bring yourself a worthy hero you get. The hammer. Hammer was kind of it's uh, ability is pretty cool. The befriend befriending Coldbjorn, you get the clan ca what? the clan Eyebright. His quest line, you get him. I don't know why he's called still called the Wanderer. They could call him Coldbjorn. But... Loot boxes for defending all all of the villages. Oh, I didn't even get to the last one or two. You get the Elder's Gift Platinum card. He's crying. Quicksilver. He's not a man, he's a god. Unhappy with your appearance? Perhaps we can make some small changes. To clean the Goblin Roads, new appearances are available. Oh. Now we get tattoos. Oh, that looks chaosy. I like that. Let's put that on. Chaos tattoo. And we get even more. Like somebody stumped on her face. We have a serious sunburn on her face. Uh, that's kind of cool. Lame. You have done well. You understand the basic rules of the game now. From here, they will change. What's the point of understanding the basic rules if now they change? So we still have the Emperor with this fucking timed bullshit. We have the Hierophant. Ooh. The Lover is ill. And the Chariot. Okay. Are all the companions in the campfire? Oh, they are! Look at that! Cool! Now we can do two... Too bad I can't scroll you here, like... Okay, I can do this. <laughs> it's so ugly! Oh, but they can change the colors. But I can't change the colors with the, uh, with the arrow keys. That's kind of shit. Oh, I can do. I can change it, but okay, it didn't work before. <laughs> oh, I want the uh, the chaosy one. This one. <laughs> it's like a red one. <laughs> the yellow is cool. I'm gonna go with the purple. Twitch colors. Let's go. See, Twitch colors. I'm gonna change our hair now. With this one. And it's gonna be white. Hell. Oh. How do I get out of here? Oh, finish. Oh my god, they fly away. That was kind of jank. Oh well, it's fine. Alright, I am interested in the Hierophant, so we're going to do the Hierophant next! Every game, even this game we play, <laughs> is a shadow of the great game. The game of life and death. Once I was its master, but now another sits upon that throne. 
I will teach you everything I can in this game, that you might have the strength to master the great game in time. Oh, complete the chariot. To unlock the next companion. Maybe I do chariot instead. Hello! Hello! Hello raiders, welcome to the stream. Thanks for raiding. Uh, legit midget 53? <laughs> That's a funny, funny name. Hello, midget raid. Hello, welcome. Praise the bread. What did the bread do to pray so that we may praise it? I don't know the bread. Hello. There's like a charge. 72 second cooldown. Oh, bonus. Oh, bonus dice. I need this. I am bad with the dice rolls, so I need this. But he goes decommissioned for three turns, though. And he's melee. We'll take him. I doubt the northerner can offer Fun. you anything. Time will tell. I don't know the bread. No. You need a conquest? Do you want to convert me to believe in the bread? Is Jesus the bread? I know that Jesus is a bread. Gotta take his card. Also gotta take the uh, Quicksilver crying dude. Oh yeah, we need to roll on this one. Take the temple, because it's always good. Take some of the new cards, just random. Take this one, take this one. Take the boy. Try to do the burning building fully. And get the fiend. I mean, we only have eight cards, though. That's kind of shit. Definitely taking that. not bread he's not wrong but the lady in the video says that Jesus is a bread I don't understand what could the bread be then I wonder all I have is apples so oh I can have two all right so we need to discover which assassin seeks to kill father Godfrey we have remuneration. Remuneration. Information comes at a cost, so we need a lot of gold. You can tempt fortune in dice games. Oh god. And the Thieves Guild is all over the place. Alright. Bread is bread? In better times, it would Jesus be got my to drive in London and got to run over by a tour bus. Jesus. And the protector of the gates ah. of life and death. I mean, it's fine. He's, he'll be back, you know. And miscreants assume the possession. It's all fine. Oh, Jesus. But what if I am bread? Mm, and I want to become toast. Oh, well. With Malaclipse's encouragement, what's a few murders in the grand scheme of things, exactly? Find yourself set opposite the opulently dressed leader of the Thieves' Guild. Or one of the leaders, it's shadowy organization. Takes a sip of wine and leans back to savor the taste. I am scheduled to be assassinated. Ha! <laughs> what a man. Hey, Blast. It's fine, everything's gonna be fine. Yeah, I mean, Jesus, he's been through worse, you know. At least the tour bus can offer a quick, quick death, you know. It goes through his head or something, you know? It's, it's fine. It's not getting crucified. Can't be bread, there's only one bread. Who's bread? It hurts me to not know. Don't worry about the thing, because every little thing will, is gonna be alright. Oh yeah. Back with a new song. Bless. No assassin has been determined, so the tale begins. Alright. If the suspect is one of my own. Subtle nods indicates the bearded man, a woman with red hair, and a man with grey eyes, Borden Provena and Grindon. 
my three personal silencers. What if, what if I kill all three of them? You know. Follow me already. You time you can't time out, people. Bless. You always appear when I have viewers, and you try to drive them away. I'm so sad. Oh well. This doesn't look like Binding of Isaac. Funny you say that though, because Bob and I were talking, and uh, Binding of Isaac might return. Because there's apparently a mod that has Twitch integration, so, you know... The sad thing is that I need all the DLCs, and I don't like Afterbirth Plus, so I have to decide. Jesus played CSGO once, he said. Just remember, it takes me three days to respawn. <laughs> once before he got opt. <laughs> Not a party member or a team member you would want on your team. Unless he's godlike, you know? But he's not god. He's just Jesus. <laughs> One of them left me this note, I'm sure. When the red candle's flame burns out on his last evening at the Mulberry Inn, the false priest to have his sins appeased points out the red candle upon the fireplace. The assassin. Oh, thanks for the follow. Trusted gears, toasted gears. Wait, toasted gears. I just realized. Are you the bread? I don't play CSGO. You know this. I only play against the bots if I ever play. Points out the red candle on the fireplace. The assassin favors theatrics so over secrecy, it seems. It's going to be the woman, because they have a red hair. You know? You are the bread? God damn. You know, I would do well to read the actual names of people in chat. <laughs> like WinC95 RS? Is it some kind of Windows joke? I don't know. Find the assassin for me. To do that, you will likely need gold. Thieves will tell you anything for gold. And now I have a bunch of questions, but only 10 gold. Hmm. What about Rovena? Rovena has been one of my sons for as long as I have been in this position, and that is a very long time indeed. Godfrey said that Rovena has worked for him for a long time. Okay. And Rovena was in the third legion of the Empire's army. Eliminate their captain. We did so. Mm -hmm. Suspect. Oh my god, I'm not going to remember all these clues. I need 19 clues, goddamn. You gotta go, Toasted Gears? Alright, thanks for the raid. I mean, you weren't the one. Were you the one? Oh, you were the. No, it was legit midget. Goddamn, I'm bad with names, I'm sorry. But thanks for the follow, Toasted Gears. Have a good one. Bless, stop it. I'm taking away your your uh, VIP badge if you keep doing this. Suspect that she's only truly loyal to gold, but she's quite a valuable asset to the guild, so it would be a shame if she died. Arena will tell the truth for money. Okay, that's easy. Let's ask about Borden. What is the eldest in the employ? A simple, nervous kind of man. I highly doubt that he would have the heart though the finesse to assassinate me, unless he has hidden this true nature all the time. Okay. You would have to pour a few weeds into him if you want him to talk, so we need to get him drunk. Okay. So, lady, money, bro, drink, what about grin? And a very little of Grin, and I heard him... Grim Dawn? I hmm. <laughs> heard him in the last town. Skilled killer. So he's sus. He's amongst us. <laughs> you're not toxic, you are toxic. You're always toxic. Wherever you go, whoever's chat you're in, you're being an asshole. What's the purpose of VIP if you can't time out people? Like, if there's slow mode or emotes only, you know, you can still chat normally. Not much else, really. And also you have the little diamond, you know. To make, to, you know, you, to label you. It's a label. 
You like labels, right? <laughs> He's prone to making the most pre preposterous claims, many of which are untrue. At the very of his exact... I hate this word. Even if he isn't the assassin. Especially when he's had too much wine. Okay, so he makes wild accusations when drunk, so... He might be able to, you know, say something that is of use. Who is he exactly? This, this guy. I'm known as Father Godfrey, though it's not my true name, of course. He's the false priest. Alright. More information about the assassin. Note was last for me last in. Red candles flame. Oh yeah, we know this. That could... That kind of sounds like a very bold claim, right? False accusation. It might be green. Maybe he was drunk when he wrote that letter. Oh. Wish please die would be unbanned. I mean, that's you. So, you know. Let's retire for the night. That he waves you away and you retire to bed, wondering how Malakliff talked you into this. He's not even here and he's still the one who's being mentioned. God damn. Alright, so we need 12 more clues. Let's go. Goblins. One should always keep an eye on their belongings, lest little hands find idle work. With a snap, you feel something being yanked off your person. My balls! You turn to see a few goblins running away, giggling and pointing at you. My balls! Look! Sea of mischief lip. Lip. Alright. Clip. In no time to check what was stolen, you rush after the thieving devils. Defeat the goblins before they blow their horn and escape. Ew. Show scenes when I'm following you and it's a long time ago. I mean... Tough shit. How long did you get banned on your account, though? Is it a, uh, like, just forever, or is there a timer on that? Can you appeal to the gods of Twitch forever? Pfft, rip. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna pretend you didn't deserve it, so, you know. Some highwaymen emerge from the bushes to protect the goblins. Thieves Guild, god damn it, I'm gonna have to focus on the goblins. Five greed people? That sucks. No appeal? Proof how would you deserve? I mean, you were being a piece of shit and someone was like, fuck you, and you got banned. <laughs> I mean, it, <laughs> it was only time, you know. Hey, yes, cookies. Nice. Goldbjorn. Family lost, his clan turned against him. Goldbjorn traveled south in search of meaning. When activated, <laughs> He performs a charging attack that causes stun and may knock down weakened enemies. Stay close to charge his ability faster. All right, go, I go. wish you an honorable death. Goblins! Go, Cobran, go! What the fuck is my character doing? Jesus Christ, you see. Go after the goblin! Wait, do I have to kill them before the timer or kill? Okay, so it was only them I had to kill before the timer. Oh, fuck. again for block again. I keep pressing dash still. Right. Fuckers let 
naked woman inside this place and take advantage of virgin men's money. And when I say there's only two genders, you're the bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's how things go. Spreading your butthole live on Twitch gets you suspended for three days. Because, you know, it's like a... No, no, but that's what makes the money. You know? But you, you are a no one. In the eyes of Twitch. So, if someone is like, hey, this guy's being a shithead for uh, attacking the wokeness, you know, they are just going to be like, well, that's easy, let's just ban their account. Don't upset the LGBTQ ABCDs. That's it. Just let them do what they do. I mean, they are not hurting anyone. Why the fuck does it bother you that they... Whatever, bless. We've been through this, but you can't understand, so, you know, it's fine. You can take refuge in this chat. I'm okay. You take back your soldier's sword from the unconscious goblin and then you break their neck. As soon as you do, with a splutter, the goblin in question awakes and flips away from you. Giggling, it ex escapes into the forest. Alright. Gain some fame. Goblins are colluding with the thieves of guild now. With the thugs defeated, you search their bodies for money. Of its shield. God damn it. So much magic comes down to simple needs in the end, don't you find? This ring is shit. Discard. Optionally discard any non-food gain card to receive plus two food. I thought it would give like plus one food for every food gain. That would be good. But this... Garbage. Hey, nice. No, I take this. Jesus. I mean, it, it's going to ask me every time that I whether I want to discard it or not. And I bet, accidentally, I will press discard on something very valuable down the line. Don't handle the truth like in that movie. What movie? You're making shit up. As long as you have the right to get drunk and smoke your happy, then why are you causing trouble? Oh. You're the only one who's gonna get hurt. And right? so we see the home of the northerner. What? And his reasons for leaving. Well, I'm not even going to read this, because I can't even go with this. I need a blessing for his quest. Great. That sucks. Once again, we return to the inn. Nope. Seeking clues to save a life. When we look into memories, so many things are left unsaid and clouded. Why I can this sell the life? Ring. Why this inn? Oh no, 52! That's a lot of money. Alright, we can we can see what this does. Weekend block. Bash stun duration increased by 20% against Empire. Enemies in block. Empire enemies in block or when their armor is completely destroyed. Map reveal. After every encounter with a gambit, reveal one random encounter card on this level. It's not bad. Bash 50 enemies as they block to unlock this shard. Gives 10 defense. I'm gonna buy this. Although, I will need money to buy uh, drinks to the guys. And I will need money to get some info out of the uh, Rovena or something. And I only have 30 bucks, so. I don't need that. It's shit. Oh, look, I can come back here, though. Can you claim this token? Sadly, there are no blessing cards here. Going to be in the drunk package. Yeah, so is shitting blood, right? Um, enter the inn. Enter the Mulberry Inn and find Father Godfrey as his usual, at his usual table by the fireplace. Sit down across from him. Scratches some numbers on... So that's him? Diabetes is going to take him before the blades. One of many rolls of paper strewn across the table. 
Glance is up at you. Three days until the assassin comes for me, and three suspects how apt. Three days to uncover the liar. Why don't we kill all three and we're done? I'd like to follow you to follow one of my silencers on the job. I would like you to follow. Take trust for information. Pay for it if you must. I would then under you want to kill him. You all covet gold, that is why we are in the business, no? Somebody has paid a high price on my head, then there is little I can do. Consider his wine for a moment. I would imagine the assassin is more inclined towards lying. If you can root out the liar, you will uncover the assassin too. I've said the assassin will always lie regardless of their personality. Oh no, I hate this kind of puzzles because I'm bad at them. <laughs> Let's go with Rowena. She's sus. You know. Shedding blood is a habit. Oh. To each their own. Rowena has been tasked with kidnapping the child of Lady Fielding as they join into the capital. Okay. Oh, that's short. You surely have a liking for strange bedfellows. Here you are helping thieves challenge thieves without a thought for their ultimate victims. It's one of the missions in the game that he gave me. And now he's like, hmm, you're doing this mission? Wow. You know the meeting point on your map and retire for the night. The guild. Okay. Wits or weapons? Perhaps both will fulfill you here. So you approach a bitch high in the bitch, a bridge high in the mountains. You see that it's already occupied by a bunch of do oh skeletons. The first emergence. In this game, at least. From your viewing angle, you notice that the bridge structure has been damaged. With luck, you may be able to knock out one of the supports with a thrown object, causing the bridge to collapse. You risk throwing one of your belongings or charge. Can I throw a rock? Quickly look around and settle for a hefty stone. Oh my god, hefty stone is not happy. Oh. Well, that's a miss. Even when things appear impossible, they can be mastered. Keep practicing. Yeah, I mastered screwing that one. <laughs> Eric flies into the canyon, alerting the enemies to your presence. God damn it. I guess you're fighting on the bridge. Why are skeletons with the uh, northerners, though? Doesn't seem like they get along. Maybe they won't. Maybe they will fight each other. That's not a bridge. Skeleton. Returned. Oh, they have eyes. Oh, that's... That's unsettling looking. Oh, that looks wrong. Race from endless sleep to fight once more. Skeletons are weak, but come armed with an assortment of equipment. Make preparations for combat challenging. Vulnerable to holy. Even in death, they protect their crotch with a belt. How thoughtful. There is nothing like blood on the snow. Charge! See, see, see! Oh! I was pressing X. I think. Wait, why did he come back? Oh, no, 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 no. All these assholes. Press the wrong button again, by the way. <laughs> so they die once, come back and die again. The skeletons. Is this a card game? Yes. In part. It's like a card game with choose your own adventure, there's deck building, and there's also the combat you just saw. It's quite simple combat, like timing your attacks and blocks and dodge rolls and stuff. And you have some inventory as well. You can have artifacts with extra skills, rings, curses and blessings that change things. 
and there are mini games like the pendulum mini game there's a dice rolling mini game there's a wheel of card fortune it's it's good this is the second game the hand of fate 2 yes i don't know if you ever saw my hand of fate 1 streams way back when you know like two years ago three <laughs> search the fallen for anything of value nice Yes, I'll take that, thank you. Free helmet. Hardly elegant, but possibly effective. Should I camp, though? Let's look at the uh, store of the camp. Take this chance to review the clues you have learned so far. Why a bigger woman? It's not that efficient in combat. Could you fucking stop? It's only cosmetic. I picked a woman because in the first game you're a dude, so now we're a dudess. Dudette? <laughs> I think dude is genderless, but yeah. Broadside Inn welcomes you with its warm glow and flowing mead. Ah, I would love to do Food for sale and items for sale. With gold, a maggot is still a maggot. <laughs> nice, called Bjorn. Review clues? Oh, I can review my clues. But I don't need, I remember the important ones. Let's try. Hunched elderly traitor blinks up at you. Thieves killed, hey? He shakes his head. Even the good ones are turning to the guild. I don't have the best prices. I don't need that. Put it forward. Food would be nice, though. Oh my god, okay, he hates the thieves guild. God damn. We don't need to cook because we can heal by moving, so that's okay for now. It's worth it to camp from now, now and again to see what equipment they have for sale. A game of chance or two, perhaps. Batting house. That sounds like a bad time for me. Yeah, I found a job. Nope. Talking facts. This is a video game. Now, who's the one who can't distinguish from reality? Ah. Besides busy Empire Road, you spy a ramshackle star whereupon a few ramshackle people are set seated on ramshackle stools, rolling ramshackle dice. You approach the ramshackle stall, and behind the ramshackle table is a ramshackle little girl practicing on a poorly tuned ramshackle violin. Beside her waist, squat lady. Squat lady. Oh, wait, it's a, wait, what? Whatever. Clad in a flowery apron, welcome, have a seat. Who we'll tried the spice cakes? Mmm. Let's get high again. Baked them this morning. There's a toothless gentleman beside you chuckles. Don't trust her, she'll distract you with that beautiful face. Games remaining today, three. Better blushes and hands out more sweets. Attempt to steal from patrons. What the hell? I'm gonna play some dice. Four. <laughs> I'm going safe bat. Remember, puppet. It's double or nothing. Berta hands you three well worn dice. The third roll is the highest. You win enough to buy a sweetheart something from the market. I suck at this. Woo. Well, it could be higher than six. Ten. Now for your second roll. Oh, if my third is the highest. Oh, god damn it. Oh, that sucks. I rolled a ten on the first roll. Okay, it's ten again. And it's gonna be a nine. I can, I can just feel it. Or a seven. Games within oh. games within games. A game system. You want to piss? You don't need permission from me. Jesus. Hey, nice. Congratulations, dear. You have won eight gold. Let's see what the cards is. If it's some gold. Ah, it's just fortune or not. Oh shit. Hey. Is it Congratulations! 
There's a shot of victory as a grubby pauper further down the table wins a small pile of gold. Nice. Let's play more cards. At another four. So even if we lose, it's fine. Wait, one of them was six. Oh shit. Whatever. I still came away with like four more than what I you know invested. Entering the small rusted handbell, time to go home. Well, at least we get food. Or maybe not. Nice, watchtower. An opportunity to better understand these lands, perhaps. On the edge of the Empire, far from the capital, sits a lonely watchtower. You approach with caution, knowing that few travelers are allowed near. Halt, cause the soldiers you approach the tower. None may cross the border from the northern lands into the Empire. For them gold. I go below. Consume three food. <laughs> hey, but I healed three times, so you know. Oh. Do what you can to find more food. Oh shit, I'm out of food almost. Oh, that sucks. I mean, I could camp and buy some food. I'm buying one for six, that's kind of fun. Oh, three for five each. Assassins. I have little love for them, less still for the criminal guilds that fill the cities these days. Bankers, thieves, assassins, merchants, Politicians. kings. Each tries to use their power to control those around them. You and Rowena need not travel far before finding a gilded carriage trundling along an imperial road. The carriage is protected by a contingent of guards. Defeat all enemies before the t I'm not going to like these time missions. There might be a mod that removes them. Hmm. I'm gonna have to look that up. That's Rowena right there. Oh, you son of a bitch! You shot me point blank. I don't know where I am. Fruit fly in front of me. Oh, came right from me. That was okay. For fame, nice. She's impressed. Starts you, starts you a little more. You open the carriage door to see a woman dressed in silks and gems clutching her son. Please, take this gold. He's just a child. I'm here for the child. Your second thought, Rowena pockets the heavy pouch of coins from the weeping mother and closes the door on them. So she's not acting out of character. She does everything for gold, so she takes the gold instead of the kid. Stares at you coldly. Threaten to tell unless she gives you half the gold. Nah. Rowena will remember this. Nah. Gops. There's nothing else, I have business elsewhere. Ask about her favorite food, that might be good, because if we go back to Mulberry Inn, and she's eating something else, 
that might mean she's acting out of character, so that might mean she's lied about her food. I still don't play songs on stream. You're listening to a song right now. It's the game's song. Twitch is a shit place. Of course there are no song requests anymore. But roasted apple. Simple but versatile. Can be good with a lot of meats. That's okay. What do you think of Father Godfrey? Sits in his finery counting coins. I said he would do so until the day he dies. Oh considers you for a bit. I wouldn't trust him so much. He's in a guild of thieves just like us after all. No one trusts anyone here. Oh, so I can ask all of the things. Okay. I have family in the capital. I do not talk to them. Join the guild after I murdered the captain of the third legion. She is not lying, so she m is not the one. Because if it's true that one of them will always lie, this, uh, regardless of what their character is, then the one who's lying is the asshole. She said the truth. Unless Father Gold Goldfish also lied. Mm -hmm. But I don't think he did. And that's true though. She did murder the captain of the Third Legion. Yeah. But wait, no wait. She was infiltrating. Oh, wait a minute. Too fame. Let's camp. Mm. Was in the third legion of the Empire Army. Okay. Oh fuck. She was in the third legion. Killed her captain. Yeah, so so that that is that that does check out. Mm. That's cool. You know what I meant? Yes, song requests, and there is the answer is no. You heard me. Enter the Mulberry Inn and find Father Gulfry as his usual table. At his usual table. Sit down across from him. Scratches some numbers on one many rolls of paper, strewn across the tail, glances up at you. It's the same shed. Hope the job with Rowena was fruitful today. You are not dead with a knife in your back, so I presume yes. It would be prudent to review what my silencers have said when you have a quiet moment. Perhaps you will catch a lie in the process. No. Tomorrow, who will you follow? Grin and a new guy. Talk about your goblin problem. Oh, yeah, the goblins. Goblins from our guild, scratches his chin in annoyance. Loyalty to the guild is tenuous at best. Here, take this. Ooh. So much folly begins and ends with crime. Goblin deception. This item will always be stolen instead of other equipment or gold. Cool. Any number of rings can be equipped. So if I get goblin again and I can't stop them before they run away, it's only going to be the string. That's good. That's good. Funny bunch, goblins. You're gonna go with the new guy. I've told Grinland to stake out the castle by Moorhammer Lake. More of it. For any moment. <laughs> Out or in. The lady of the castle owes us a considerable debt. You're at the meeting point on your map. Retire for the night. Here we begin to see the potential of cards based around fame. If you can force them from your deck and into your hands, you can begin to exploit their power. Yeah, the, the hammer. Raiders have destroyed our village, the elder explains in a hushed voice. They were searching for this. He draws a weapon from his cloak and hands it to you. The elder draws a platinum equipment card and I gain 8 fame. Oh my god, this card will stay in my deck forever. 
a mighty weapon for a mightier warrior than you, I think. Oh, I need 20 fame, of course, and I have like 12. Would you like to equip it? Yeah. But I can't. Oh, wait, I could. Wait, what? Oh, I have, I have 20. Ah, oh, good. The other has eyes. Oh, yeah, because I got eight, of course. As her eyes widen as the weapon gives a faint glow as it rests in your hands. You are indeed worthy of this gift, he continues. May this weapon bring you better fortunes than it did our people. May the sacrifice be your gain. Hell yeah. Big hammer. Even though I have an axe on my character now. That's fine. Yeah, store. I'm gonna sell my sword. For four money. As the gluttony armor, so it has a stun bash, requires 5 defense, food defense, gain plus 30% defense if you have 20 plus food, wow, gain an extra 30% defense for each additional free food, up to plus 30. So 30% is 3, I guess, you know. That's pretty good, so if you have a bunch of food, well we are almost out of food completely. <laughs> Gain plus two food or plus one food in Endless after every encounter in which you receive the game card. Excludes the camp encounter. Induces more in speed by 10%. This is decent in Endless, I guess. As like a screen pious rules. Charge Bash. Causes confused single target to activate it. Excludes elite and enemies and shadows. Basic Bash causes a brief stun. Corrupted inflict less damage, lose one max life instead of taking starvation damage. Ew. Perform charge bashes. Well, now we know what they are. I'm not buying the uh, gold. We're gonna buy food. It's hard to conceive that either of us were ever such. He's just a small child, he over here. Deeper voice growls, we have to take him to the dungeons or else he'll turn, run straight to whatever northern clan he spawned from. <laughs> Show them where our outpost is. Racism! Odmir watches the boy, he's of clan cashed foot, weak and pitiful clan of the southern reach, so he's not to be feared. Consider the boy's fate. I prefer to take the boy to the dungeon. You're gonna save him because apparently he's from a shitty clan that's like no problem. But we'll do this after this little break. I need to pee. And my cat is pooping, so be right back.
Blake. We saved a boy. Unsheathing your weapon, you demand they let the boy go. Let my boy go. Empire soldiers and I, I'm moved by my threat. Oh, what the hell? Did that change or. Phalanx, they have big shields. And I have big hammer. I'm gonna fuck him up. Mm. Need unrelenting power. I'll break them. Stab. The expansion of the Empire, its soldier, requires constant conscription of new blood. Soldiers block all attacks, greatly reducing the damage. Use bash to open them up for damage. God damn it. Suck my dick. This is what happens to the best of the squad business. Oh, you son of a bitch! I'm going for this asshole. I don't know how that happened. Sucks that there is no invincibility while you're doing your finishers and stuff. You can still get shot. That kinda that kinda blows. Oh my god. Big Max out. Big food! It's a check on the unconscious guards. Unconscious? Uh dead. You notice the boy looking at you verily as if sizing you up. Uh oh. Let's fail this. So, how do I activate his uh, dice rolling ability? I guess I don't need to. It was with a little dried plant hung around his neck nervously. Okay, I will tell you. There was an empire ambush on our village and they ran with mother. We got separated. He wiped some tears from his face angrily. But I'm not afraid. I am of Clan Catsfoot. Oh, I, th I thought I read cast food, not cat's food, whatever. They are great pathfinders. I'll find my way home. The boy tells you what he knows of the area. Pfft, well, whatever. Small donor and boy refuses any and all help. You can only wish him good luck. Good luck. The small form disappears into the forest. And then you hear the uh, familiar sound of a neck breaking. Coming from the woods. As the boy trips, falls and breaks his neck. Hey, I got another one. Nice. I have two shards. Very good. With a shout, Grindon signals your arrival at the castle by Moorhammer Lake. You find some long grass and settle down for the day. Grindon. Despite being a stakeout, Grindon happily talks quite loudly. You know, my sources tell me the lady inside is wanted for high treason. Not low. High. She's always high. Suddenly pulls out a bit of charcoal and paper. Would you like my autograph? Sure. I'll sell it. And I'll, I'll have something to start a fire with, you know? I like him to scribble his name on the roll of paper. He, he tucks it lovingly in lovingly into your hand. Grin and trust you a little more. Time passes, but nobody leaves goddamn fruit for him. Or enters the modest castle. So I say, who are you anyway? Grindon retrieves the a boiled sweet. Boiled sweet? Ew. From a paper bag and pops it in his mouth. I've not seen you around before. Say you're new recruit. Say you're the leader of the Thieves Guild in disguise. Yeah, sure. New. Oh, really? I heard we didn't need any more recruits. And we are struggling to feed the mouth as we have already. Grindon squints at you suspiciously, stroking his hat. Why would you stroke your hat? Tell me, what would you do? To get recruited. Say that you what did you do? Oh, yeah. Say that you stole the shoes of Father Gonfrey while he was sleeping. Stole the stars from the sky and put them in his eyes. Uh, they both sound equally stupid. Mm. 
shoes. Ha! Green and snatches the air in front of you triumphantly. Everybody knows Father Godfrey doesn't wear shoes. He has wooden legs. Really? Ew. That's your little ass. Oh god. Little ass happens during the stakeout. God damn it. You spend most of the time watching a dog sleep. <laughs> With shoes on. Before you end your separate ways, take the chance to question Grindon. What's your favorite food, Grindon? Ah, great question. I would be it would be berry pudding, without a doubt. Okay. What about your family? Sorry, but I only shared it with my dedicated Ah, so this is when So he gives us big inf big big ac wild accusations when he's drunk, but we don't know if it tells the truth for gold, so we're just going to ask something else. What about your past? Fuck my past. I don't know. What he thinks about Father Green. Oh, so I only get one ask? Or maybe all three locked is locked. Oh, fuck. I don't remember what we know about the Green Man. We know he is the newest dude. And he's like. Clumsy? Ask about his past for five or... Oh, we need to roll. I guess if I play, pay eight, it's, it's like ten or nine. I can't roll twelve. Eight! Suck my dick, so do I just lose the money? Fuck you. Fuck the dice minigame, dude. <laughs> For the briefest moment, fatigue crosses his face. Father Godfrey appears all at once, very old. Hope you will know who the assassin is before then. Borrow gold, that's why he trusts me. He looks at me sad or you sadly. Even if you were to steal the ring from my hand, you could never truly be a part of this guild. No, you don't have the heart for it. For the briefest moment, fatigue crosses his face. Oh, so I asked why he trusts me, and it's like, nah. I borrow some money. Cannot! Bono is going to pick up some lamps from shipwreck port that have been, let's say, repossessed from their owners. Right. Right. Ooh, we can have new equipment. Ring of food. God damn it. I have no clues from goddamn Grin. Rowena, Rowena. Rowena is not the one, I think. Borden, for a long time, Borden has spilled the truth when drunk. We'll try to get him drunk. Short time, Grin then makes wild accusations when drunk. The assassin will always lie, regardless of their personality, so Rowena didn't lie about the the uh, legion so that's okay. but we don't know anything about the green though. so if he if he can you know it, it can still be easy if I get to do the, uh, the board and stuff so let's, let's try and not fuck up let's go this way ah oh, god damn it they took my ring They are helped by the Thieves Guild. It's fine. I'll still try to focus down the uh, goblins. You know, to keep the ring. To keep the ring. Because the rest are not timed, only the goblins. God damn goblins. Thief! 
There will ever be a place for small hands and quick wits. Defeat goblins quickly to avoid losing your items for good. Thieves attack more frequently while goblins are alive to protect the spoils. Watch it. Wrong target. One down. Come back here, you derpy fuck. Okay, that was not even close to me. What the fuck kind of jump was that? Nope. Oh, what the fuck? From off screen, they attack. I know there is a way to turn the camera, but I have no idea how to do it. <laughs> oh, it has the same moveset as the axe. So basically I stuck the hammer into his head and then I stepped on him and pulled the hammer out. <laughs> but it's a hammer! Take back your thieves fully from the unconscious goblin. Goblin runs away, but I still get some gold, so that's nice. Mm, give some defense, sure. Why not? Think about what has been lost simply to grant you comfort. Nice, we got healed up. Nice and easy. Hell yeah, we make a dog. Divine Providence. Last one to each of your yes. It doesn't say it's a permanent one, but it should be a permanent one. I don't know why it doesn't say it. Oh well. Very good. Very good. A rotten priest and a rotten thief. Expend the effort to save him and watch thousands wail as they lose their hard-earned wealth. I think we only get the golden token if we get all the 19 clues. So I'm never going to get that. How the hell do you get 10 more clues? Life itself, in exchange for life. In the need. As you hike through the mountains one fine day, you come across an injured traveler. It's a shadow fiend. I'm gonna kill it. Though he's clearly deeply wounded and barely moving, he sends something disturbing about the cloaked figure and approach with caution. You, mortal, come here. Teach your commands, his voice rasping. I need sustenance to heal myself. Oh, it's basically the vampire from the first game. Give us some blood, fucker. And you will provide it. Draw your weapon and the beast weakly raises its arm to defend itself. Spare me! I'll make it worth your while. How? Three days ago I happened to feast upon one of your kind. Only men of some nature, I believe, who could no doubt cure you of your wounds. Pfft, what wounds? Grant me a pittance of your blood to restore my strength, and I swear I shall bring him to you. Yeah, he will bring him to us, but he feasted on him, so he's probably dead. Or turned. You know, either way. We hope the list never break our word. Finish it. Creature dies with a shudder. Search him. <laughs> Fuck you, asshole! <laughs> Fire is a symbol of so much purity, will, creative force, I send him power, in. a moment of inattention, and it becomes pure destruction. That was kind of a lucky uh, lineup. One. Joe. 
nice, nice. Last one, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. No! Oh shit, shit! Okay, it's only failure, that's fine. Uh, but I don't get the token, I think. Perhaps you should have taken your time. Shut up! <laughs> Smoke is too thick! Find yourself disoriented, eyes burning, you fumble your way back to the, out of the building. But we can still go in. I didn't get hurt. The husband, we need the husband. I don't know who the second one was, but you know, that's fine. Yes! Oh my god! You just need to look. Whatever is in the top is basically going to be the one it looks like. Slumped in the corner of a room, you find the woman's husband. Put his arm over your shoulder and quickly make your way out of the inferno. Isn't that like a movie? As you emerge, the woman and her children rush to the man's side and embrace him. Thank you, adventurer. You have saved my family from certain death. Mom says. Got a token, boy. And eight fame. Okay, so that's a lot of fame if we complete this. This, can, this could be a good fame winning card in missions where fame is required. While our possessions have been destroyed and we'll never be able to pay you, you know, we'll speak of your deeds here today, for as long as we shall live. Good. You better. Or I'll come back and burn your ass. Okay, goblins, we don't need to do that. They're at the shipwreck port by a wagon. Ride in relative silence and the burden turns to you and asks quite seriously, What do you think of the boss? Will you find him hard to read? Aim that you are proud to be working under such a great man, and it's hard to read. Borden trusts you a little less. Fuck you, Borden. Borden, you are approached by a pirate bearing a load of stolen lamps. Borden goes to give him a sack of gold, presumably payment. The unusually pale pirate shakes his head. Shakes his head. No, he pulls out the rusty bucket and his sword. I want blood. There's. Borden looks at you expectantly, as if you shouldn't protest. Three life pain. Alright. Ah! Oh, my max life. What the fuck? Thirteen? What kind of number is that? It's not even Friday. But an, or maybe it is. No, it's not. But interest you a little more. He will remember that. I couldn't even heal from this. That's such garbage. My blood. He retrieved the crates of stolen lamps and piled them into the wagon before sending off. So why the fuck would he want a bucket of blood? What is this? <laughs> you arrive at the drop-off point. Borden is seized with sudden emotion. I'm sorry I asked you to give blood. I'm a terrible person, aren't I? He's quite a terrible person. Some sort of ad before pulling himself together. <laughs> fuck you, Borden. Borden trusts you a little less. <laughs> what about your favorite food? I don't know if I should be telling you that sort of thing. Yes, you should, you motherfucker. Give. Victory, you are learning. Blackberry tart, or maybe apple tart. Borden begins to sweet sweat, seeing it from the pressure of the question. Oh my God, Borden! Yeah, Borden could not fucking do it. He's a fucking retard. It's geared. It's the green guy, or maybe Borden is a good actor. So some kind of. Either blackberry something or apple apple pie or apple tart or whatever that was. Mm. I mean, we don't need the money anymore, right? Or maybe we do. We might be able to get them drunk in this. You know what? Good goodbye. I don't care. Yolo. As things so often do, suspicion turns to violence and violence to death. I kill all I three. hoped you would bring something more to our table than Callus once did. So, is Callus the name of the first game's hero who defeats uh, whatever his name, whatever this guy's name is? Lupin. <laughs> Waldo. I don't know what this guy's name is. The the dealer. He deals in cocaine. Because that's the only named person that I could, you know, imagine. Callus. You find Father Golf Goffrey at his usual place next to the fire. As you seat yourself opposite him, you notice he looks distinctly calm. He's already dead. 
despite the foretelling of his death tonight. Someone's gonna die tonight. He was bored in Ravenna and grinned and roaming about the tavern. Ravenna can't be it. Because they didn't lie. Ah, oh, it's probably Grindon, honestly. Because it's a young blood, you know, it's an asshole. Kids these days, you know. Find and eliminate the assassin before the Elan made me. Or I cannot be responsible for what they what may happen if you accuse one of my silences wrongly. Kill all of you, even you. Take the shit coin and go home. The red candle up on the fireplace burns tall. Because he dies when the red candle burns down, like in the picture. So we still have some time. We don't need to review the clues because I am sad. We need to approach Borden and get him drunk. Drink with Borden to gain information. Accuse him, but we drink with him. Borden looks happy that you offered. I'll have a mulberry wine then if you're offering. The pendulum is ever-changing, and the challenges it presents change, too. I uh, choked. Fear that you're trying to get me drunk to gain insight into something, I'll be honest with you, I know very, very little about what's going on. That red candle is still tall. We, we can still try to drink with Borden. Because <laughs> if I can get him drunk and he says something that's true about him or anyone else, then it's Grindon. And if he lies, it's him. It's that easy. You just need to get him goddamn drunk. But I hate this. What? Input lag, dude. <laughs> Alright, the red candle is still tall. Drink it, board and go. <laughs> just keep drinking with him, dude. Oh my god. Okay. Third time's the charm. I was listening to the, the, the sound cue, to be honest. My ears are faster than my goddamn eyes. <laughs> Drunken Borden pulls you close. I'm sure Grey Eyes mentioned something about the Red Candle the other night. He whispers nervously. Borden drunkenly said that Grindon was talking about the Red Candle. Why? We don't know if that's true or not. <laughs> because he didn't. Wait, he didn't. Go to green then. Uh, so green then talked about something. Approach green. Then. We need to get green then drunk as well because he does wild accusations. So drink with green. When face cam, a thousand subscribers. Oh, that's big. I fucked this up, you know. Nicely huh? timed. Nicely done. Borden murdered his wife, you know. Sold her to the desert nomads. Green and Drunkenly said that Borden murdered his wife. That's probably a lie. Fuck. I have 21 thingies. Rowana does anything for gold, so we need to go to Rowana. Rowena. And bribe her. Oh, I mean, we can drink with her. That's the... I do not drink, dulls the senses. Suck my dick. Accuse her! And <laughs> she doesn't drink. <laughs> no. I would like to give 20, but I'm gonna go with 10. Hopefully it's okay. 11, got them. 9. Roll, you son of a bitch! That blessing is so good. It was 10 gold. Rowena, they wear a hidden wrist dagger. Who? All this. Rowena said that the assassin has a hidden wrist dagger. How would she know? Oh, I can't give the 20 either. Thirteen. Right. Imagine what a breakthrough would it be. What? Face cam? Nah. I would lose even you and Bob. <laughs> As viewers. 
<laughs> well, that's our money. Borden looks nervous. I don't really have much information. I guess I've never trusted Rovana. Borden doesn't trust Rovana. Fuck you, Rovana has the less shit on her, though. <laughs> What's useless? I'll accuse you for, for fun. Uh, we can't do much else. We can review the clues or talk to Father Godfrey about details. So we ask you not to waste your time. I have a very personal stake in your prompt success. Get a death threat again. Red Candle's flame burns out. On his last evening at the Mulberry Inn, the false priest will have his sins appeased. Ask about wrist daggers. It's not uncommon for scientists to wear wrist daggers. Only Borden doesn't have one, I believe. It says that it's not honorable. Can you imagine that? Honor among thieves! It's a grin then. Easy. My sister said I look nicer. No, she didn't. What the fuck? Stop lying. I hate liars. Alright, so... It's green then. But you can still ask. A thieves at the end of what they Oh, God is what they want. If that fails... Drink with them. Alright, so that's useless. Stand guard beside him all night. They'll merely kill me another day. No, this must end tonight. Alright. Accusing Grin then. Because Rovana didn't lie about the thing, the uh, legions, Captain Murder. Borden apparently doesn't have a hidden wrist blade, and Grindon is a piece of shit. Aha! You throw your weapon and point it carefully at him. To hell with you, he says. You have uncovered the assassin, easy. Grindon rallies some guild minions. Fuck him up, I will. I won't get the golden token, but I'll get the rest, I'll get the small stuff. The small stuff even gives you a fair number of things, you know. Grindon. <gasps> Silence of Grindon. I wonder if it's always Grindon, you know, if you repeat the quest. It would be cool if it changed. Claims to have royal lizard man blood running through his veins. Ew. He's a lizard! Oh, what the fuck? I was looking at my numbers. Oh, that guy got put in the ground. What the fuck? Where did he come from? This one is shining around. This one is lost. How the fuck do I get six more clues? Well, I know how to get six more clues. Pay them, I guess. And also, don't screw up the uh, their little side missions. Yeah, that would be. Yeah, that would be six. I think. He's looking the, the, the cursor. As the violence subsides, you realize that Father Godfrey is standing next to you. Eyeing Grindon's body glibly. Such a shame. Thank you for your service, Is. This is a heavy bag of gold in your hand and returns to his seat by the fireplace. There is still a chance of completion. Oh, yeah, I didn't no get it. She put it back. Perfection now. I was like, mm, wow. But no. I mean, good music. Six beers a day keeps the doctor away. Yeah, because you won't even make it to the doctor. More cards, more choices, more tokens to unlock. More bullshit. 
Surveying your foreign thief skill. Surviving, sorry. I get the Borrow Burrow. Oh, what the fuck? Fallen treasure. Ooh, mud crabs or mud claws. There's a mod that gives you a pet mud crab. Mud, mud claw! Or some bullshit. Ruben. Apparently that's a good mod. I don't know. Fuck that. Soothsayer. Trading house. The normal token. Dark alleys. Thieves and shadowy characters. Surviving so before I get Cry of Victory. Oh, artifacts! Finally, Thieves Holy Ring, Mask of Holy Fortunes, and Sacrificial Blades. Hmm. I also get Gold Gain Fortune. I think these are starting items. Oh, five extra life. And the Merchant's Ring. Oh yeah, supplies. I have a bunch of tokens too, holy shit. Unlock these encounters. Bitter winter. Okay. Oh, that's new. The Briar Folk have taken root in endless adventures. The wild hunt. Oh, tree people. So these and these are all endless adventure things. So I guess I will have to play that sometime. If I want to see this. This adventure is now available from the challenge map. Oh, oh yeah, because I did like four or five requests. Only Zana causing mischief. The endless thing. Around the couple. Shadow Beast stock. Shadow Beast. Aid your allies in endless adventures. Opening favor. Drunken hero. Blood for the beast. Isn't that another eclipse? Awesome. Well, that's a silver, but that's fine. We can look at endless. Endless adventures. The road ahead may be long and treacherous. Will you endure the turns of cruel fate? Strong steel and fierce pride. Perhaps your death may count amongst the legends. Fading star. Fame reduces over time. Oh. So my weapons... If they are fame, weapons and equipment... Oh, that sucks. Wear and tear. Weapon damage and equipment defense degrade from use in combat. Oh, shit. Permanent injury. While your max life is greater than 100. Damage in combat may reduce your max life. <laughs> Goblin can recommend you a deck build from suggested cards. Why good, he's no match for an experienced player. He recommends the wonder. You may take their recommendations if you wish. They will be sufficient for now. Now he recommends the trickster. Not the wonder. Not the trickster. What if I... Oh, never mind. I backed out. You're not going to do endless. Like, it's probably better to do endless when you have a bunch more cards unlocked and equipment and stuff. And you know a lot more encounters, so you can be like, ah, this encounter, I'm going to choose this and that, because endless is probably just bragging, right? Some form of a leaderboard that might not even exist in the epic version, because fuck epic. Oh, yeah, and these are the uh, DLCs we don't have. Why is this revealed? Well, I'm not going to start another one, it's been over three hours. We might go back to the Emperor next time, or, or some of the new ones. I'll retry the Hierophant. Who knows? Only I know. And what I know is that I'm going to quit. So thanks for watching. Thanks for the raid, the follow, all the things. And I hope you enjoyed.
this this little game of Hand of Fate 2 from Defiant Development apparently. Goodbye!